Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number six of my Manchester United Football Manager 2015 Let's Play. First up here in this episode, uh, we have a Capital One Cup game uh, against Everton, who are actually doing really, really poor in the Premier League. Uh, I don't think they've won a game yet. If we go to Everton, can't click on them there. We'll, we'll click on them somewhere. <laughs> we'll go to the competitions here. Everton, yeah, they haven't won a game, and they've lost four and only drawn one, so... Yeah, they aren't on great form right now, uh, being threatened with relegation. I wouldn't mind that, honestly, because don't forget who plays for Everton, Lukaku. If they get relegated, I don't think they will, though, because they've got enough quality to stay up. Uh, they'll probably finish mid-table or something, but, like, yeah, he'll want to leave, and if, if they finish in a bad position as well, he might want to leave as well. And He could be a new striker, like Falcao leave, sign Lukaku, uh, but obviously that kind of stuff still has to pan out. I love Lukaku as a striker, uh, but Falcao's doing pretty good right now. Uh, Rooney, uh, he's doing his job as a complete forward, supporting uh, the striker, but I'm going to be actually playing Jimenez as a right back. I've taught him to play right back now. He was only decent uh, on that, and now he's accomplished, or competent. Yeah, it's competent. Uh, he used to be competent, now it's accomplished. Uh, I reckon he can be a decent right back, looking at his attributes, like at least for a fullback, those kind of attributes. I'll go to, yeah, fullback and go to support. So, you know exactly. Yeah, crossing 10. I think dribbling, like to get forward 11 is not too bad. I think they'll have some influence. But anyway, more so the mental attributes. Like got 15 work rate, teamwork 13, positioning 13, concentration 12, and anticipation 13. I reckon he can grow in those attributes as well, training him in that kind of role. Uh, so if I go training right now, I'm working defender right and I'm working on stamina. It says improve stamina. Natural fitness 11, I'll... Maybe you want that a bit higher, so that's why I'm working on stamina. Maybe so that can compensate for that. But if we go back now, uh, yeah, you can see who's starting in this team. But, yeah, younger guys giving a chance, like uh, Hughes uh, getting a game, Adama Traore uh, developing nicely, still um, yeah, around the same kind of attributes, though. Uh, but he's looking good, training well, so we're going to give him the chance. Uh, Falcao, ooh, I'm not sure whether I should play him or give him a rest. He still needs match fitness according to that. It's only 81 match fitness, so we need to keep playing him um, according to that, uh, to be honest. Uh, a lot of players who are not in the starting 11 are basically uh, yeah, still coming back from their injuries, so around the 80% for a lot of them. So, Belanta just... A lot of them are still unhappy. Like, De Gea is still having that effect of... So, we're probably going to... If that doesn't change in January, I'm going to have to... Look, there's still yeah, interest from Atletico, Dortmund, and PSG. So, like, I'm not sure what to do. Should I... Offer him to those clubs? I'm not really sure. He wants to actually join PSG, but... Uh, yeah, I want PSG to come with me with an offer, like a huge offer. Then I can basically choose from any single goalkeeper I want. Uh, but again, as long as we're winning games and not conceding goals, uh, that yeah seems to be good. So you look at Everton. If you look at their starting... Okay, that looks weird. It's like they're... That's, I don't think that's a good thing. Uh, when they're the back four, are like, it's like on a slant. So that way, they won't have a very good defensive line if it's like that. You have Baines really attacking, Coleman defensive, and then the two centre-backs like that. Uh, so I want to see if their weak links... Yeah, who's their weak link? got Mohamed Besic. Uh, he's natural as a centre defensive midfielder, so definitely not amazing centre-back, but he's okay for Premier League level. Um, Darren Gibson, of course, came through Manchester United Academy. Uh, you can see there... Manchester United played for them uh, for a bit as well. He was a decent player, but wasn't really the required quality. Um, centre mid, uh, the other centre mid anyway, you got Brandon Galloway, or Brendan Galloway. Is he from Everton? Like, Oh no, they signed him from MK Dons. Uh, but yeah, he's definitely not Premier League quality yet, so that's definitely a weak link in the team, but I think he could be, have okay potential for the future, uh, judging off his attributes. Uh, Brian Oviedo, uh, he's okay. Uh, but again, natural left back. He probably won't be as good at going forward. He's got good attributes for that, though. Um, Aidan McGeady, obviously, you know his quality. He's a good winger. He's a very good winger. Tricky. Uh, they're playing George Green, who's a young talent, another young... They've got some good young players, though. He's a good young attacking midfielder that's English. And, of course, Lukaku is one we have to look out for because he's an amazing striker. So uh, what we will do here, the first port of call is Lukaku uh, to tight mark him and show him to weaker foot. Uh, that's it, I think. Anyone else here? Maybe McGeady as well. We'll close him down because he's yeah, kind of a tricky player, as I said. Um, but to be honest, yeah, that's about it. The rest, the rest aren't dangers, complete dangers, um, in my view. So, and if anyone's wondering, um, 
putting questions because I get a lot of comments now on these videos. So um, I use Camtasia Studio to record. You can see it there. That's the thing it records with. So you can check that out. You can download free trial. It's like 30 days or whatever. Um, and yeah, um, you can buy it if you uh, like it. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that's why I used to record. Some people ask, but yeah, let's go in. What am I going to say here? Let's go passionate, and I expect uh, nothing but a win from this match. So, uh, Johnny Evans, giving him Johnny Evans more of a go now. Like he's rated well, like really by my coaches and that, and in the game as well. But yeah, my coaches reckon we should be giving him a first team appearances. So giving him a chance here, see how he does um, in the game. Uh, Phil Jones as well, uh, looking motivated. Adama Traore, of course, you expect him to look nervous. Kind of a big game for him, like a young player um, trying to push his way into the first team. And that's why there's probably not too much action in this first half. We've got a lot of inexperienced players uh, in the team. Well, not a lot. We've got a few. I reckon few is a better way to say it. Herrera clears the ball there. Um, Oviedo staying back. Come on, tackle him, Blind. Got to be responsible. Of course, yeah, Blind coming in as well. Luke Shaw still easing him into the first team, coming back from his injury. Oh, Besic almost under pressure. Uh, at least they've got a good goalkeeper in Tim Howard as well. Again, an ex-Manchester United player. Uh, but this hasn't been like too exciting first half, has it? Oh, long ball for Lukaku from Baines. It's a good save from De Gea. See, De Gea still comes up and makes good saves. He may want to leave or whatever for Champions League football, but he still performs. He still does his job, and you've seen that with the save there. Uh, but Everton are actually really dominating possession here. I might have to change something up uh, tactically. I'm not really sure. Maybe just a good team talk. We'll see how the first yeah, 15 or so minutes go. Um, we'll go assertive. Hmm. We can still win this. But Falcao is switching off. That's not good. We'll say passionate. A lot more to come from you. Yeah, I uh, didn't change much, but yeah, Johnny Evans. He seems to be really confident now. He's getting good reactions from my team talk, so uh, we seem to have a good connection, so I wouldn't want to transfer list him, try and sell him. It kind of feels wrong because uh, we're getting on well, and but he hasn't played too well in this game. 6.4 rating. <laughs> uh, that's his problem. But for me, Johnny Evans is good when partnered, yeah, partnered with another experienced centre-back. That's why probably in real life, I reckon, oh, George Green had a chance. Yeah, uh, that's why I think in real life he's maybe made some errors because he's always been used to being partnered with a Ferdinand or a Vidic, like that experience. I reckon, yeah, that's why he really struggles to take um, initiative, I guess you can say, and be the experienced centre-back because he's always uh, had to, he could rely on one of those guys. That's my opinion anyway. I said that in my uh, Manchester United career mode in FIFA as well. Uh, people left thoughts on that as well. So that's, that's my thoughts on it anyway. I think... Um, yeah, he's always relied on the other experienced centre-back, but now he has to be that kind of player. But here, Ander Herrera isn't really doing the job, so I'm going to bring on Axel Witzel in that position uh, for him, deep-line playmaker, but I'm, I'm going to change that to support so he can just yeah push forward a little bit more, um, as you can see by that. Hmm, anyone else who's not playing too well? Will Hughes, he's still got a lot of condition left in him, so I wouldn't sub him. Yeah, Falcao hasn't had a good game. Uh, we'll bring on James Wilson for the pace. Uh, we'll leave those two subs for now, and we'll see with those kind of changes. Actually, I'm going to change the wingers onto attack instead of support, and we'll see what kind of uh, change that will make. So Witzel, uh, we'll go assertive. I'm looking for him to make the difference, and he gains confidence from that, and he appreciates the encouraging feedback. And again, uh, pressure off for James Wilson. Uh, looks relaxed, maybe overly so, but still uh, relax. But come on, we need to... Well, we don't need to win it. Uh, Capital One Cup, it'll be a nice competition to win, but the board don't really judge me on it uh, from their confidence. I checked that out before, so... Uh, uh, FA Cup, yeah, FA Cup is a bit more important. Come on. We are, yeah, we are pushing forward a bit more. Got to see what happens here. Lukaku, oh, good tackle, Evans. He did well there to, yeah, pressure him. So, I want to... A push a bit more. What's the best team talk for that? If we go assertive, uh, push, yeah, push forward. Come on. Come on, Jimenez. Traore, Rooney. Back to Jimenez. Poor ball, honestly. He just wasted that. We have, that's why I hate you have possession of the ball. That's one, yeah, play out of defense. That's not playing out of defense. <laughs> well, it kind of is in a way, just booting it away. That's all it is. McGeady. Whoo. He's kind of, uh, yeah, getting the better of Jimenez at the minute, so not sure if I'll make some changes soon. I think I'll have to now. Uh, go advanced tactics. 
Come on. What are we going to do? Um, uh, I don't know. Yeah. Adama Traore not having a good game. We'll bring on oh, Quadrado. Yeah, his ability. So, yeah, we already made three subs. So, we go in like that. And I'm not sure if we go... Oh, no. Nah, I don't want to go. I don't want to push them up like more advanced. Like there might be two attacking. And... Will Hughes, what's his best position? Nah. As attacking midfield, could be advanced playmaker. I'm thinking to change the role to advanced playmaker, but I'll leave it on roaming for now. Uh, Quadrado, passionate. I'm looking for him to make the difference. He was our big money signing at the start of a season. 40 million big ones, but as you know, yeah, 20 million up front, and yeah, another 20 million over 48 months, but yeah, still big, big money. Come on. What else can I do team talk wise? Uh, calmly or encourage. We'll encourage him. Oh, highlight right away. We'll see if that makes an impact. Howard. Come on, Rooney. Imagine if James Wilson scores. The winner. He's going to be amazing in the future, though. He's going to be so quick and amazing finisher. He showed that already, actually. Quadrado goes back to Jimenez. Witzel, Hughes, back to Johnny Evans. This is good passing. Depay, Wilson tries one outside of the box. What a goal. That isn't just a goal we play, like a through ball and he's on one-on-one. -on -one. He can hit some shots outside the box, judging of that now. What a hit. What a hit. But he is <laughs> learning from Van Persie, so it's not too surprising that he can come up uh, with a hit like that. James Wilson, but he's doing this in the first season. Imagine when he really reaches his best ability um, as we wait for the highlight to load here. Here we go. James Wilson smashed that. He smashed that. What a hit. i got to check out his abilities. What's he like? Yeah, long shots there improving. 12. Uh, there's not like an attribute for shot power, I guess, but yeah, 12 long shots and 12 or yeah, 14 finishing. I'm not sure what else would contribute to long shots. I guess, yeah, next would be... It would be finishing, I reckon, technique, long shots, and finishing. I reckon that's all matters. But then, his information. He hasn't learnt the specific things yet. Uh, he's only got moves into tunnels and likes to round key. But he's good on both feet. You saw there, he's strong on both feet. Fairly strong and very strong. Uh, yeah, he's already being tutored by Van Persie. And you know Van Persie, yeah, he's got shoes with power. So if he can actually learn, he, that can actually happen. That's what one of the things they get from tutoring. They can learn preferred moves from them. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Depends how well it goes. But yeah, if he can learn that, shoes with power, he'll be amazing. He'll be amazing. It's, that's a fantastic strike. So now uh, we'll push back to counter. Uh, we'll confirm that. And we'll play there. Uh, still another 15 minutes to be played, though. We'll see if we score here before the changes come into effect. Evans, Depay. Uh, we lose the ball here. Morales, he's a very dangerous player, actually. Come on. Tackle. Don't let them score. Oh, it's Baines! Wow, that was close. <laughs> that was really close. 10 minutes remaining here. Just need to hold on, boys. We'll be, in, we'll be into the next round of the Capital One Cup. They've got a corner, though. It's Baines. Oh, it's Lukaku. Ooh, good save. That was De Gea again. He should have a good... Yeah, 7.4 rating. He's getting better body language. So hopefully he can become a bit happy. Hopefully he can start performing. And yeah, you can forget about PSG. De Gea, your future's at Manchester United, lad. You Keep it up. Keep up the performances like this, and he should improve in his morale. You would think. Hopefully he does. And he'll decide to stay. Come on, there's still a minute left. We've got to defend responsibly. I was going to do a team talk, but it's... Yeah, it's already happened, kind of. It's just showing the highlight. Ooh, what's that? Jagielka just... Yeah, gives away a foul through frustration, really. Should we pick up a yellow, you think? Yeah, it's a yellow. 90th minute. Game over. Just a bit of frustration there from Phil. Hughes. Wilson. It's good for Hughes to get a full game in as well. It'll be good for him just to be confident. He'll be definitely, yeah, part of the first team in the future. Who knows if I might adjust my tactic slightly. Could be good in a central attack midfield position. But for now, um, yeah, uh, he did his job. Didn't play amazingly, though, but he still was a part of a winning game and played the full game as well. Very nice victory. 1-0. Uh, uh, but evident, the interesting thing is, well, nah, we definitely did not field our best team. So I can't look into it too much in terms of the possession. 
Uh, we still had more shots on target, though. Uh, Matt Stats. But still no clear-cut chances. But regardless of that, I don't think I've ever had heaps. I haven't really, yeah, take a look of it too recently. But still, like, uh, we're getting results without it. Uh, James Wilson is scoring freely, basically. He scored four goals this season. They've all been in the Capital One Cup. But at least he scored against a Premier League team. Uh, against Everton, so he shows he can score, and it was a big goal to score, the only goal of the game to win it as well, he's going to be amazing in the future, what's he, how long is his contract until, 2017, three more years, if I offer him a new contract, it'll be, and I'll only be one year extension, so yeah, not, I don't want to give him a new contract, and he'll get maybe too much ahead of himself, he still needs to know there's a lot of work to be done, and yeah, you got to be, what, why is he unhappy though? He still, yeah, he wants... Uh, do I have to sell De Gea for that issue to be resolved? I'm not really sure. Is De Gea still... See, he's still... Regardless of what, how well he performs, he's still going to be unhappy. Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm not really sure. But yeah, I could go check for goalkeepers again, but we'll make this episode too long. I want to get this um, yeah, Burnley game done as well. So yeah, um, four days until that game. Yeah, hopefully you can pick up another win and keep pushing up the table. So here we are today, home game against Burnley. It's a very important game. Like, even if we win this game, we will be on 15 points. Uh, we still won't leapfrog uh, Liverpool, Manchester City. It's just a really important game to get the points. But it will separate us a lot with Arsenal uh, and the rest of the sides below us. So, very important game. It's a game you would expect us to win, Burnley. And again, it's an opportunity to introduce more players who have come back from injuries. You've got Angel Di Maria. Uh, you've got other players on the bench uh, you got Van Persie as well. He's I'm giving him maybe one more game. Oh yeah, one game in the under twenty ones to get his fitness. So I dropped a pay. He's actually got decent ratings actually, but uh, I think he needs a rest. I think he deserves a rest and uh, getting back to hundred percent fitness because yeah, it's a opportunity to introduce uh, Di Maria back into the first team, get his match fitness back. And yeah, he's back from his injury. Uh, Mata as well, uh, bring into that roaming playmaker kind of role. And also Raphael coming in in right back. I think, is this his first look? Has he played a game yet? Oh, he played one in the cup and yeah, he did pretty well. So you yeah, hope to be able to push on and do well. You know, as I said in a previous episode, he's he's got that potential and all of that. Uh, to continue uh, to grow as a player, even though he's 24. Uh, Belanta, I wasn't sure whether to drop... You know, like, Jones and Rojo are doing really, really well. Look at their ratings. You've got Rojo, 7.70, but it's only from two appearances. So, But I want to give Rojo a chance. He's excellent. And Phil Jones has had a great season, one of my better players throughout the season. And it's good to have Di Maria. His first two games averaged a 7.80 rating. So uh, definitely... I reckon, oh, I don't know. I, I don't even know who's our best player in the team. There's so many, yeah, you've got quite a few world-class players. But anyway, uh, we'll go in and we'll try and see. I'm still having James Wilson. I could have easily brought uh, Van Persie onto the bench and bring him off. But yeah, James Wilson's doing the job. And he's. I reckon he'll be more of a fact. Like a, a guy who's on form, fully fit, opposed to Van Persie. You'll just give him, yeah, another under-21 game. Uh, so this is Burnley. There's no one really dangerous in my view, so we won't yeah, use any opposition instructions for this game. And their fullbacks are very defensive if you didn't see there quickly, but yeah, they're actually behind the centre max. That just means they're on defend. So anyway, let's go passionately and yeah, do it for the fans. I'd like to do that in home games. Um, I would usually do that, but didn't really get a good reaction on that occasion. Not really much of a reaction. Uh, maybe just my players know what they have to do. Who knows? Oh, come on, quietly. Uh, Rojo, nothing happened there, though. Uh, Rojo throws in. But, yeah, <laughs> just gave it away. I hate giving it away needlessly like that. Rojo made the first interception, but they get it back. Uh, Taylor's on here. Got to defend this. Got to defend. Oh, whoa. What a save. I thought that was destined for the back of the net, without a doubt. Somehow De Gea saved that. That's why I want De Gea to get happy. I'm not sure what I have to do. It's like he's set on leaving. But, yeah, hopefully, because he's an amazing keeper. It comes up with some amazing saves you've seen. Like, that was a for-sure goal, I thought. But here, Mata. Rooney! Oh, it's Quadrado! I thought that was a for-sure chance. Both teams have had a couple chances here. Both te Yeah, any team could be winning this um, at the current point. Uh, my team's looking frustrated, and that's me. You can tell by my fr um, frustration as well uh, from my reactions. I'm frustrated that we couldn't score. So, yeah, we're kind of feeling the same kind of thing right now. Come on, win this, Jones. 
but goes back to Arfield, Chalaba. It's Danny Ings. It's Ings, and he scores. It was a good goal. He scored six for the season as well. He's a solid striker, and he beats De Gea eventually. Um, one on one chance, and he finished. And you can see from the replay there, it's it's a good finish, one on one. Really good finish. Hard to say that. And yeah, De Gea's actually been pretty good, but on that time, uh, yeah, it wasn't good enough. And I'm never going to know if that's because of him not being confident or something and wanting to leave. That's always going to be back of my mind. Oh, and of course, Tom Heaton as well, ex-Manchester United youth player. But it's Rooney, Falcao, we play it back. We definitely need a goal, hopefully before half time. Herrera, Mata, Rooney, Quadrat. Oh, what was that? Wow. This is we've created chances, but we don't look confident in the final third to finish the chances. I'm not really sure why. It's disappointing to go, but like if it was, if we didn't concede that goal, take it okay, come with a good team talk or whatever. Uh, but we'll go assertive and hmm, yeah, you don't look like a team that wants to win. You're one of those yeah assertive team talks to play better. Come on, lads. Hmm. What can we do here? I've got to think, like, maybe a substitution or something. I don't know. Rooney and Falcao are not playing well. That's It's not good. Yeah, no, nothing looks like happening. So what I am going to do here... Oh, who do I bring on? Hmm. Yeah, even Di Maria playing poorly, coming back from, yeah, that injury... Who do we bring on? Oh, I shouldn't have. Yeah, Depay. Uh, I'll bring Mata out wide, I reckon. But who will come on here? Yeah, Vitzel. And then we'll bring Mata out wide onto the left. Have to chain something up. Uh, and both Rooney and Falcao haven't played well. Both of them. I can only take... I'll bring on Wilson, but for who? Which one? Nah, I'll take... Yeah, because Rooney can still play that complete forward. Oh, but he's played worse. Oh, I don't know. Actually, I'll take... Yeah, I'll take off Rooney and... Falcao scored when we played with Wilson as well when I dropped him to there in a previous game, I remember. Um, Yanazai, maybe? Quadrado's had a bad game. He had a couple chances, especially one very good chance, and was a pretty poor shot. So, bring on Yanazai. Yeah, I reckon I'm recording a lot in advance here. I'm recording a lot in one day. I could imagine people, yeah, suggesting to play Yanazai, but yeah, Quadrado is playing in that position where we would be playing Yanazai. But I guess, yeah, this is a chance for Yanazai to show his worth. Final 30 minutes here. Show, you have to show me what you can do. This is his chance to come on and do something. Uh, Wilson, uh, pressure off. Uh, yeah, he keeps getting relaxed, but maybe overly so. I'm not sure why, but same with Yanazai. We'll do no pressure, and he seems relaxed. Come on. But yeah, for me, Wilson seeming like... He doesn't seem like a young player anymore. I've said it before. He seems like experience. He, he shows he can play. He can score quite a few goals. But now has to do it in the Premier League. Hasn't actually scored in the Premier League this season. Only in the Cups. Oh, but Danny Ings is on again. He's on again. But De Gea saves. How can I go team talk? Where are we? Let's go aggressive this time. We've got to, yeah, be serious here. Um... Push forward. Oh, yeah. Do what I did last time as well, yeah. I'll just push that on. And then, ch yeah, change advanced tactics. Um, Herrera. Go to deep line playmaker, but support now. And the wingers on winger on attack. There we go. But this time, I have a feeling to push him up there because... Yeah, Marta more general in that position. It's very, very attacking, but I'm going for the... We need a score. That's the truth. We need a score here, so we'll confirm that. And yeah, hopefully we can do something special. Last year, 20 minutes here. Come on. A really attacking game we're playing now. Very advanced. We can't go more attacking than this, so here's a chance. Here's a chance. It's Mata. Oh, you saw like a lot of the team, the attacking players pushing forward. Mata this time! Oh, I thought it would have been a better chance from there, but from the corner off the header, one Mata. First goal of the season, finally. And I'm going to keep it. I'm going to go for the win here. I want to see this on the replay, though. Herrera, good corner. And Mata headers from there. Whew, what a header. Amazing effort.
Come on, one more chance. Can I put another team talk? I paused it. What the hell? Okay. Overload now. Um, assertive. Yeah, that's all I can do. Push forward. That's... Or demand more. Work harder. Yeah, I want you to work harder late in the game. Hopefully that does something. But I'm always... I lose confidence when there's like so like minimal time left. Come on, overload. I can't do much more than this. <laughs> there may be a chance though. There may be a chance. Who knows? Or it could be just the end of the game highlight. I don't know. I don't know. Ah, probably will be, yeah. Jones. Maybe they'll score. Herrera might give away a red. Nah, it's not going to be anything. Oh, it's disappointing. Kitely. Yeah. It looks like it's going to end here. Yeah, ends here. At least we avoid defeat. Lucky we get that goal back. Would have been very disappointing to actually lose it. Uh, but we'll say assertively, yeah, it's not good enough. It's those kind of results is not going to help us yeah, win the league this season. It'll be very, very hard to win the league uh, from this point. But again, it's good that we avoided defeat. And if we go to overview here, we can check where we are. We're still third. We're still two points ahead of Arsenal. And still, of course, just one win away from Man City and Liverpool. But their goal difference is much stronger. Uh, they've been yeah, good in attack and very, very good defensively. Especially Man City only conceded two goals. But um, yeah, that's the situation there. Now we'll just check out some messages. Uh, we rescue a late draw. Important, yeah, that we didn't lose. And yeah, if we go back again, uh, Premier Division... Uh, we've still only lost one game, and that was that. Yeah, that was lost. It was lost against Liverpool. So it was a big loss, though. Uh, but that's it. Yeah, uh, the results in this episode. We probably need to score more goals, but I'm not really sure what more I need to do. Maybe now I like the wingers on support. I like that because they can yeah come in with crosses and whatever. Um, maybe yeah. Leave your suggestions. What I need to change. Obviously, I'm not playing badly. My team's not playing badly. We were scoring a bit more freely earlier. Like look, the first game of the season, scored four goals away to Sunderland. That was great. But since then, apart from Coventry, I'm not really going to count that because that's a lower team. The maximum we've scored in a goal in a game in terms of goals is two, and they've been Southampton two, Liverpool two. So maybe we may be lacking that area, but our defense is really strong. We're not conceding many goals, but so it'll be foolish to change it too much. If I made the wingers more attacking, it may you know, it may start to concede a bit more, so it's hard to choose. But I guess we'll see how we go over the course of the next few games. Uh, but for now, hopefully you enjoyed the episode. If you did, drop a like, and I'll see you guys next time.